Hey there guys. This weekend we're at a little bit of a different adventure. Uh, usually we go kayaking or something like that and I think you've seen us on bikes before but not like biking biking. So this weekend we're actually at a pure biking weekend. We uh, decided to stay at a really neat campground. We didn't think it was very neat but when we got here it is a very nice little campground and when I say little it is little. There's only what about 15 sites, yeah. maybe 15 sites. Uh, it's the Santos Trailhead State Park uh, just outside of Ocala, Florida. And it is right on top of the Santos mountain bike trails. So we are gonna go out this morning. I don't know if we're gonna do any trails. I think we're just gonna go out and explore. They have a really nice, um, paved. Is, I was gonna say, this is, this is gonna really anger a lot of mountain bikers when we say this. We're gonna do the paved portion <laughs> of the trails this morning just to kind of get a feel for what's out here and see see what it's like just do go easy on us old guys so that we don't oh, you crash don't know. i know i knew that was going to happen so we're going to go out and uh, enjoy the trails a little bit this morning i shouldn't say trails because mountain bikers are going to get mad at me because we're not really going on the trails yet we'll probably do the trails tonight when it's a little bit cooler because it's starting to warm up it's only what eight o'clock this morning and it's it's kind of steamy it's, it's florida we are in summer and the high today is supposed to be around 100 so we're not in the heat of summer yet and no. it's I know it's, it's a hundred. Like, yeah. yeah, it's yeah. bad. <laughs> Hopefully we'll get some rain this afternoon to cool things off, but we are going to go mountain biking and we'll keep you up to date while we're out there. And if we crash, not really you're mountain biking. Yeah, not really mountain biking. If we crash, you're not going to get any of that because we're, we're too good to crash, right? Oh, and we right. better not crash on a paved trail. If we crash on a, oh my goodness, that would just, you, you would never see that if we crash on the paved trail. If we crash on the paved trail, then we won't be filming for a while. <laughs> That's correct. Yeah. We'll film the road rash. We so. <laughs> no, no, we can't have any evidence. No evidence. So we're going to go riding and we'll see you out there. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Hey guys, we are half, half, no, we're actually more than halfway uh, to where the trail turns around. And so far, it's been a lot of fun. Yes, Would it you has. say it? it's a mm -hmm. beautiful trail? They did a really nice job uh, winding it in and out of the trees so you're not out in the Florida sun right now, which is, I'm soaked right now. I, I, that's disgusting, I know, but I'm soaked. It is, uh, it's, I didn't want to say anything. I know. Thank what's God it, it's not the smell of it. I know. What's it got to be like 90 degrees out already? And it's only like nine o'clock in the morning. So welcome to Florida. Um, but it is, it's, they really have done a nice job on this trail. It, uh, comes into, I, I know Sorry. I told you, she just touched my back and I am, ah. I have my backpack on with my cameras and, uh, <laughs> I'm not even gonna go there. I'm just done. Moving on. Yeah, moving on. Uh, so uh, they d did a really nice job of connecting the different trailheads. So we are right now at the Land Bridge Trailhead, and our next stop is the I-75 overpass. We call it the Critter Bridge because it goes over I-75, and horses can go over it, mountain bikers can go over it. So it's uh, it's really critters. neat. And critters. And that so, <laughs> so that'll be our next stop. But we just wanted to start show you halfway here. I'm gonna spin around kind of quick. You can see this little park they have here is very nice. If you wanted to stop and have lunch. They've got picnic tables, water, and I'm going to spin around here. The most important thing, they have restrooms. I know that's all kind of funky with the exposure, but they have restrooms here, so it's really nice. Uh, great little trail. We're going to continue our way to the Land Bridge. Land bridge. I'm learning how to speak this week. Um, so we're going to go to the Land Bridge and stop there and do some filming and let you see the wonderful I-75 interstate, because I know everybody yeah, wants to see that. Seen Nobody's that. ever seen that, so we'll catch that in its natural habitat. So until we get to the bridge, we'll, uh, we'll see you there. Bye. Bye. Hey guys, 
know it's going to be kind of noisy because of all the road traffic, but we made it to the land bridge. Well, this is proof. <laughs> proof, yeah, that, that's all we wanted was proof that we made it to the land bridge. Although we are going to go farther out. We just found out, we were talking to a couple of cyclists on the trail, that the, the paved portion of this trail goes a little bit further out, what did he say, about another five miles? Yes, something, something like that. that. So we're going to go ahead and go to the end and turn around and come back and enjoy what has turned out to be a gorgeous day. It's a little warm, but there's a nice breeze blowing and uh, we're enjoying it. Most everybody agrees it's hot, so yeah. we're, we're hopeful that this is the hot weather in August is going to be absolutely oh, gosh, cool. I touched you. Yeah, you touched, she touched me again. So ah. <laughs> because of all the road noise, we're not going to stand here and talk too long. So yeah, too we far. will see you maybe at the end or when we get back to the campground, either one. So until then, we'll see you. Bye. Bye. Hey guys, Jan as usual has taken off and she's running as fast as she can. Leave me behind. Uh, we are doing a very interesting excursion this afternoon. I'm going to look to make sure I'm not going to get run over here. Um, we are going to the world's largest museum of flamingos. Of course, having an airstream means you have to hunt down flamingo stuff. So we are now at... Well, the name of the place is called Cindy Dunlow Frames, but I'm not sure if that's the name of the Flamingo place. But you can see is the official Florida Flamingo Museum, Guinness World Record holder for the largest collection of flamingos. So we're going to go in and take a look at that and see what we can find. I know Jan's going to buy something, no doubt about it. But we'll go in, check it out, and see what it's about. Well guys, we just finished touring the museum with the museum's owner, Cindy. She was very gracious and very enthusiastic about all of her flamingos. And as you can see, there are enough flamingos in here that you could spend years cataloging. And how long did you say it took to catalog all the items for the Guinness Book of World Records? It was a 14 month process. Oh my gosh. Whole, you know, we had to number each one, describe each one, take a photograph of each one, and then upload it all to England where Guinness is based. Yeah, 14 months. Oh man, that is quite an <laughs> undertaking. Well, it was worth it, wasn't it? It was. Yep. Well, thank you for letting us come in and visit your museum, and we will let you get back to work because we know you're busy. <laughs> well, thank you for coming in. Thanks. Appreciate yes. it. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Hey guys, I'm getting Jan mad because I want to film something else. She And, and she's mad at me. when tell, her what, tell them what we're doing. We are going to, I've always wanted to do this, we are going to the Ocala Drive-In Theater. And what movie were you going to see? Godzilla. <laughs> she wants to go see Godzilla. What is it called? King of the Monsters? King of the Monsters so, 3 or something. I yeah, so know. she's getting mad at me because I wanted to film something about us going to the theater. And she's like, I'm just ready to go to the theater. <laughs> so, so that's, see what I have to put up with? So we are going to do something a little wacky tonight. We're going to go see a drive-in movie. I don't know if, how many drive-in theaters there are around anymore, but... She if saw you this get one. Chance, do it. Yeah. Because She's, I remember it when I was a little, <laughs> There you go. She's it, remembering it, awesome. it fondly as she was a kid. So we'll see if it's the same experience it's tonight. It's a beautiful experience. <laughs> of course, when she was a kid, was only what five years ago. That's I mean, it wasn't. Right. It wasn't that hey, many years ago. Wasn't that many years ago. <laughs> so we're gonna go to the theater. Not even the theater. We're gonna go to the drive-in and watch the Godzilla, King of the Monsters. So. <laughs> We'll, uh, we'll film a little bit so you can see what this drive-in theater looks like, but we're off to the drive-in theater. It's another exciting adventure. It's never a dull moment here with us guys, so stick around. We'll see you in a bit. Bye. guys well this is a little bit of a different closing for us we are actually driving it was pretty hot this morning here it is I don't know not even 11 o'clock and it's 86 degrees so we decided that uh, we would start heading home and it was just too hot of course the clouds are building up maybe it's gonna rain 
But uh, so we thought we'd close the video out in the nice air conditioned truck. <laughs> so pardon the road noise. Uh, we had a good time though. And the bouncing um, around. On the bouncing around, yeah. Um, we had a good time at uh, Santos Trailhead Campground, wouldn't you say, sweetie? Yes. It was good. I think um, this would definitely be a great campground if you could get in here in early spring when it's still cool out and you could ride a lot. Spring right, or fall. Yeah, right now, I mean, like I said, you get to this this time of day and it's pretty hot out. You don't even want to go out on the trails. So uh, you got to get out early in the morning, which we were not getting up early in this morning. You know, we went and saw Godzilla last night, so <laughs> which was an experience, let me tell you. Um, it's been a long time since we've been to a drive-in and now we know why we don't go to drive-ins anymore. No. <laughs> she had a difference. It's a bit tight. I didn't like that, and it's not how I remembered. And don't you even say it. <laughs> I know. Don't go there. Um, I just remember them being, you know, having big places to park. This one did not, and it is tiny. There are two screens, and you can, I guess they have double features. You can watch two movies per screen. So that was interesting. Not I two didn't... movies per screen. Oh, well, you two can... movies, yeah. yeah. One after the other, sorry, right. my bad. But, um, it was interesting. In other words, we won't be doing it anytime <laughs> soon again. It, we hey, I would try we, we to went go and did somewhere. It. That's the important thing. I we will try to go somewhere else if I can find one. There we go. Well, we we did this. I will one. do more research. There, yeah, great. Okay. Shush, shush. We'll try. So, okay. Well, we wanted to close the video out here. Let you know what a good time we had uh, at Santos. Uh, yes. Again, the Flamingo uh, Museum with Cindy. That was a lot of fun. That was very cute. That was and cute. interesting. Uh, so, uh, again, uh, remember to keep chasing your dreams. And if you like the video, remember to subscribe to our channel and keep up to date with all of our adventures. And give us two thumbs up if you like the video. And we will see you guys on our next adventure. Not sure what that one's going to be, but it'll be fun. It'll be camping. So we will see you later. Bye. Bye.